What we want to show you right now is what we believe to be the smartest metal detector on the market, and its capabilities are really unbelievable. This is the Chea 601. Uh, this is going to be used for loss prevention as well as in correctional facilities or any type of facility where you're trying to eliminate any metal going into or coming out of a facility. But right now we're going to talk to John Eli who's helped us earlier and John uh, what we wanted you to do is to show us how smart uh, the 601 is. Okay, I'm going to go through there without um, showing or actually scanning in my profile um, just to show you how sensitive this is. And you don't have any metal on you right now, right? I've got my glasses, my ring, and the zipper. Okay. Actually, I'll take off my ring and my glasses. Okay. So it's so sensitive, it's picking up the little clip on my zipper. That's how wow. sensitive it is. Okay. So it's very difficult to get through there because it's going to alarm on everything. And it wouldn't be, it would be useless. Staff would not even pay attention. So we have to figure out a way to, to profile in that zipper or a ring or glasses, whatever you want to, so that you can keep going through the detector without alarming unless you add some type of contraband onto your person, which is okay. what I'm going to do now. So what John's going to do... So, again, this will alarm. Okay, because I got a lot of metal now. I got glasses, this, and this. But earlier I profiled using any 1D, 2D, card code. It could be a driver's license, uh, any type of access card that you might have. And I have profiled, profiled in these three types of metals. Okay, that shows that that was a, a different card. I wanted to show you the difference between that card and my card. So basically, you have to use an approved card. You have to use the card that it identifies you specifically. Now I'm going to use my card for my profile. Now I get through using my card, my profile, because it knows and I'm wearing glasses, a ring, and metal in the zipper. No alarm. So and now I'm going to add a cuff key. Very, very small piece of metal. So we saw this earlier. A very small piece of metal added to your profile. I'm going to add this now onto my possession. And this detector will know that I have added an additional piece of metal, contraband, above my internal or authorized profile. Put that in my pocket. Now it picks up the cuff key that I've added to my profile. Okay, I'm going to take the cuff key back off and hand it to David just to show you. my profile. That's the allowed metal. The cuff key was not allowed. So tell us about the card. You said earlier that a particular person could go from facility to facility and all of these detectors could be networked or his profile networked wherever he is? Yes, uh, especially in a corrections application. Uh, that profile can be pushed over the LAN or the WAN to another location. So if that person leaves one institution, arrives at another institution, puts his card up there, and his profile is already there waiting on him, and if he alarms, then that means he has picked up something in the transportation uh, pipeline. He's picked up some illegal contraband and has added that to his authorized profile. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, John. This is really 
This is really an impressive piece of equipment. It's great for loss prevention. That's what it was really designed for, but we've kind of uh, applied that to the correctional application also. Okay. Thanks for your time. Yes, sir.